In this video, I'll be doing my player ratings for Arsenal's 3-1 loss to West Ham in the Carabao Cup. Obviously did the live stream, talked about how important it could be because I see both sides of things. Some people saying it doesn't really matter, it's just a Carabao Cup, there's still plenty of other trophies. But others saying that we've not won anything, so even though it's a little trophy, maybe we could have done with it. I don't know, I'm not really too bothered as I said, but ideally we do need to be winning something. And uh, yes, yes, it may not be the biggest of cups, but still disappointing, but is what it is is got a big game this weekend and we must move on but get straight into the ratings starting off with Aaron Ramsdale in goal and then Ramsdale I, I gave him a 5 out of 10 I think you know not a not a great performance he was he at fault for any of the goals for the first one it was a foul on him so I don't really blame him, on, blame him for that I, you know getting a shirt pulled you can't blame him for that in my opinion second one's a good finish again can't blame him the third one's a weird one because it's straight at him but it does take a slight deflection some people are saying he should, still should save it because it's you know yes it's taking a little deflection but it's straight at him but you know I'm not a goalkeeper maybe as a goalkeeper it's so much harder than it looks so I don't know it's a difficult one I don't know whether that's really his fault and if you really can be blaming uh, blaming him for that so I, I don't know it's a difficult one but I'm gonna give him a 5 out of 10 it wasn't really a great performance to be honest and you know did concede three goals in the end and uh, well when will the next play ask the question because David Rye is now his number one will he play in the last game of the Champions League if we're already through but other than that I can't really see him getting any game time till January so very difficult situation for him but uh, yeah I'll give him a 5 out of 10 for this game Ben White Ben White, I'm gonna have to give him a 4 out of 10. Maybe that's generous. You could even give him a 3 out of 10, to be honest, because the own goal, I mean, I don't know what he's doing. He's unchallenged at the front post. Lots of time to think what he's doing, and you never see that. He's just headed it into his own net, and it's it's absolutely ridiculous. I don't know what he's done there, and now obviously set us in a bad stride, and then, yeah, didn't really do anything going forward, and you know wasn't it just again it wasn't an awful performance i thought you know didn't really do too much but that own goal really you know dented it to be honest and it was very poor from him and uh, yeah i'll give him a four out of ten you could even give that him a three to be honest and um, moving on to it was kiwi oil kiwi oil playing in the uh, right center back position i believe and kiwi oil i thought he was okay especially first half First half, I thought he defended very well when he was outnumbered. Read the game well, clean challenges. And I thought he was very good first half. Second half, again, with the rest of defence, didn't really do too much. Uh, and, you know, was part of a defence that did concede three goals in the end. Even though I don't think he was directly at fault for any of them. But, yeah, you know, not a, not a great performance on um, QBO in the second half. But first half, I thought he was okay. And maybe unlucky not to, uh, to concede that many goals. But is what it is. He did. I'm going to give him... Uh, I'll give him a 5 out of 10 because you can't give him too much because he did concede three goals. But Kibio, uh, you know, didn't think he was awful. I'll give him a 5. Gabriel, Gabriel. I'm going to have to give him a 4. I thought he was very bad, to be honest. In the first half, lost the ball a couple of times. Uh, and that's how they got in the transition. Not really reading of the game. Paqueta turned him, I think, as well in one of the times. And second half, uh, the, the goal, uh, it's not really fully his fault. Does go through his legs, which I don't really think you can blame him for that in my opinion but uh, yeah not great from Gabriel sloppy on the ball not great off it and uh, let's hope it's a much improved uh, performance this weekend against Newcastle because I did not think he was great whatsoever and uh, yeah let's hope he moves on from that quickly not a great performance from Gabriel I'll give him a four uh, on to Zinchenko Zinchenko again another four out of ten this might even be generous maybe some of these guys des deserve three to be honest and maybe Zinchenko is one of them but first half again most people in the first half I was reasonably happy with the performance it was the final third where i thought we weren't great but first half i thought we were okay third west ham didn't really threaten us and zinchenko was okay getting out of the press i thought his passing was okay couple of sloppy passes as well to be fair but then the second goal is mainly on him in my opinion it's a brilliant take from kudos wonderful ball i'm not sure who played it great touch great finish but Zinchenko, that was way too easy. Takes the touch, goes past him. And uh, yeah, that was way too easy to get beat from Zinchenko there, in my opinion. And it has to do better there. And uh, yeah, not great from Zinchenko. I'm going to have to give him a 4 out of 10 as well. And then um, into midfield, Jorginho... Jorginho a 5 out of 10, again, like most of the players, first half wasn't too bad, thought he did okay, second half, again, we lost the midfield battle quite a bit, 
And, uh, yeah, it just wasn't great from him, in my opinion. And, uh, yeah, again, wasn't awful, wasn't great, 5 out of 10. Kai Havertz, again, Kai Havertz, we're very sim uh, familiar, I should say, with these kind of performances, unfortunately. You know, doesn't do anything too bad, doesn't do anything great. He's just there, doesn't, you know, doesn't really stand out, unfortunately. First half, I thought he was okay. Won a few duels, like he always does. Had a decent flick on header, unlucky not to score, maybe. And it was okay in the first half. Second half, barely noticed him, didn't really do much. Much. And it's getting very familiar with Kai Havertz, isn't it? So far, he's not. I wouldn't say he's be, you know been absolutely awful for us, but he's not been great either, has he? And for 65 million, you need much more than that. Let's hope it comes, and it'll be interesting to see if he plays this weekend. But Kai Havertz didn't think it was great from him today, and we're gonna have to give him a five. I'll give him a five as well, Kai Havertz. Vieira, similar. First half thought he was okay. Yet again, was oh you know had a decent performance in my opinion. Again though, you know didn't really turn up in the second half. Did get an assist to be fair. So maybe I can give him a six out of ten for that. Maybe a five. I'll probably stick with a five, but maybe you could give him a six just for the assist. And then um, yeah, just didn't really do too much in the second half. But first half was okay, like most of the team. But the attack, Reese Nelson again another five out of ten. First half, thought he had some nice dribblings, had the chance to play in Vieira, didn't quite see it, and uh, that wasn't great from him, probably should have seen that pass. And uh, nice dribbles, you know, looked to threat in my opinion, but yeah, just didn't really stand out too much, and uh, especially in the second half, so 5 out of 10. In Ketia, in Ketia, I'm going to have to give him a 4, a complete opposite from that hat-trick against Sheffield United, 10 out of 10, thought he was brilliant. Today, very poor. Had a chance from in the, in the first half from the corner. It didn't score. Half chance as well in the first half where somebody cut it back and he sliced a volley on his left foot, I think. And the uh, second half didn't hold up the ball well whatsoever. And uh, yeah, just didn't really have a great performance. And uh, very disappointing because from going to, from the hat trick to this is not great so whatsoever. But yeah, and Kit Young, I have to give him a 4 out of 10. Not a great performance. It Trossard, another 4 out of 10. Very, very poor, I thought didn't really do anything i mean he got the ball a couple of times his passing was okay but again i don't really like him on that left wing i'll be honest i prefer to see him maybe like a center mid or a center forward i like that i'm not a big fan of him on the left but Arteta clearly likes to play him there, so I don't know. And, uh, yeah, I didn't really enjoy his performance. Didn't do anything. Lost the ball a couple of times easily. And, uh, yeah, it wasn't great from Trossard. I'll give him a 4 out of 10. And I uh, believe that's all the starting 11. So, on to the subs. The first pair of subs came on with about... On the 60th minute, I think, it was Declan Rice and Tommy Asu. And i will give both of them a 5 out of 10. Declan Rice wasn't actually that good, to be honest, when he came on. A couple of sloppy passes here and there. A nice little, he did one nice little run. That's about it, though. And, uh, yeah, they, it was, I believe it was 2-0 at that time anyway. Might have even been 3. Uh, so, yeah, it was pretty much uh, game over anyway. And uh, 5 out of 10 for him. And Tommy Asu, the same 5 out of 10 for him. Saka and Martinelli were the next two to come on with 20 minutes left. I mean, I don't actually see why these guys came on, but there's no point. But as for their performance, again, just to give him a 6 out of 10, to be honest. They didn't do much. Saka had a couple of nice dribbles, but again, didn't do much. Same with Martinelli. Didn't, 3 0 down, the game's already gone. No point. I'll give them both a 6 out of 10. Uh, or, or maybe a 5 out of 10 because they didn't help. I don't know. Odegaard, I'll give a 6 out of 10. You could even give him a 7, to be honest, because he did have a nice goal. You know, that lots of people are discussing that. Is he better on that left centre mid position now? Because obviously that's where he scored from. And, you know, should Arteta play him there more? Maybe. I don't know. I have to wait and see what he does. Good goal, good finish. But again, 10 minutes. So you could give him a 7, but I'm just going to give him a 6 because we lost any end and the gold really didn't mean anything unfortunately but um yeah i think that's all the subs it is and on to the manager Mikel arteta again Mikel arteta it's a weird one i don't think the starting 11 was too bad i didn't mind it i thought it was good rotation I, i'm glad i didn't see saliba race and all that starting because i did want some rest and first half, I thought it was a good performance. I thought we controlled the game pretty well. West Ham had a goal 1-0 up, of, you know, from no shots. They didn't threaten us at all, but it was because of the silly own goal that happened. And first half was good. However, second half wasn't great. You know, came out not great from that Bowen chance. Good uh, save from Ramsdale. And then Kudos scored. And then 3-0. And then kind of fell apart. And after that, it was over. One thing, though, is that I don't know why he subbed on the likes of Saka, Martinelli and all that. It was 3-0 down. What's the point? The game's already done. May as well rest them for the weekend. But I guess he wanted to try go for it. I don't know. But didn't work out. Uh, and uh, yeah, just a bit of a waste of time. No subs, really. Wanted to bring this in as well. West. Ham's XG you can see 0 
Arsenal's XG 1.03. So, you know, despite not uh, playing that well, to be honest, we didn't concede many. I mean, we certainly, I don't think we deserve to concede three goals because the goals they scored weren't really massive chances, to be honest. And to get three goals out of that is pretty poor. And, you know, we had one XG, didn't get only got one goal. So, it is what it is. The actual defending, I didn't think, was awful at times. But the overall performance was a little bit lackluster. Should he have rotated less? I don't know. Is what it is. He won't be happy going out the cup. But again, must move on to Newcastle. And that becomes an even bigger game now. Uh, but for, as for Arteta's rating, I'll give him a 4 out of 10, I think. You're giving him a 5, maybe. 4 or 5, I don't know. One of those you could choose. Um, but yeah, that's the video for the player ratings. That makes this game's weekend, uh, obviously, the game against Newcastle. That makes it even bigger now because, obviously, with that game coming up, if we go on to lose that and then we're out the Carbo Cup, People are going to say, what was the point, you know, rotating in there? We could have gone strong there. But now if we lose both, we're going to, lots of questions are going to be asked. I think that's what's going to happen. So that's the thing. You know, a draw's not too bad because Newcastle away is super tough. But if we can win there, that'll be an absolutely massive result. And uh, I don't, if we win there, I think many people are just going to forget about this Cowboy Cup result and won't care. So I think that's the way to go. And hopefully we can do it. Need to get over this trophy. Somebody else is going to win it. And, uh, you know, quite a few teams left in it. It was a decent chance of a trophy is what it is though must move on focus on the premier league champions league and when the fa cup comes in let's hope we can win something this season because i think the time for winning is coming up now and i think we do need to start winning trophies but um that's where i'm gonna leave this video guys thank you guys so much for watching let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below about the player ratings what are your thoughts on it have i been too generous too harsh as well and um, watch out for the newcastle preview that'll probably come out friday i imagine something like that because obviously quick turnaround, played Wednesday, rest Thursday, Friday, game on Saturday. So very quick turnaround as it is during this busy period. And uh, that game against Newcastle is absolutely massive, as I said. Let's hope we can do something there. But um, make sure you check out the live uh, match, uh, ma match live, live stream, sorry. Uh, where I discuss the game, discuss the goals, you know, everything about the game. So make sure you check that out if you haven't already seen it. But as for this video, make sure you smash a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one.